Greetings friends, family, farmers, this is Market Cutting Edge Solutions here in Northern California, the lovely Sonoma County where our factory is. Uh, we're here to spread some information and clear up some misconceptions on pH balancing, specifically with Cutting Edge Solutions. So we're going to show you what you need to do and what you shouldn't do. So this is a prepared reservoir. I've got one gallon of water here. I have our three-part formula, just our three-part formula. And from that point on, we have variables. So we're going to explain the best way to do this. One gallon of water, before we add our additives, the most important thing to consider is our plant app if you are using our additives. Plant app is, is an organic, biologically chelated calcium. It will drop your pH temporarily. The way that we do this is we start with a base formula. You adjust your pH to 6.5 for soil, some for cocoa like around 6.0, hydroponics around 5.5. So people say, do I adjust the pH? Some people are told, don't adjust the pH of cutting edge. That is incorrect. There are certain situations where you will not adjust your pH, and we will explain that to you. So here's the, the explanation. Plant damp, again, is an organic acid. It will drop your pH temporarily in your reservoir. Here, I uh, can test my pH. Right now, it tests at 6.5. So I'm going to take a measurement, uh, hold that, and then we're going to add the plant damp. Plant damp will temporarily drop your pH. When we use the word temporarily, that's a meaning that the plant will absorb that pH, or that calcium, very quickly, and that pH will adjust to what you set it at before you add the plant amp. So the, the basic concept is this organic acid will be absorbed immediately by the plant. You're not uh, going to worry about the plant being too low of a pH scale, turning yellow, or going, something going wrong. So again, I'm going to add 10 milliliters of plant amp, which is our organic calcium, to the reservoir, and we'll again check the pH. Now, it should be lower. It will drop lower. This is where people get confused. There's a term called swing feeding. Swing feeding is when we give the plant access to pH ranges from low to high, keeping it mainly in that sweet spot of nutrient uptake. Now I've added my plant amp after I've pH adjusted my water, temporarily it's going to drop, and now let's take a look where we're at. I'm going to allow my pH to adjust for about 30 seconds, and we'll take a look. This is the point where you feed like normal. A lot of people say, I look at my pH and now it's dramatically lower. Uh, I can't have it that low. My pH is supposed to be 6.5. Again, this is a temporary drop. So I'm going to take a measurement, take a look at it here. We're now at 5.0. When I started, we were at 6.5. Again, we need people to understand that pH is not a, uh, a followed by black and white, must be followed at an exact number at all times. Plants absorb elements differently, and I'd like to show you a chart here. Here I have a hydroponics pH chart. If you look at the chart, you will see that certain elements are more available at lower pHs, such as copper, zinc, boron, manganese, iron, you see how we have a wider open pathway to that uh, element. The idea with using plant amp and having a temporarily low pH shift allows us to munch on those trace minerals, those micro elements at a better uh, pH availability. So, that in mind, uh, we have a few things to consider. In hydroponics, when you mix up your formula, you add plant amp with no pH adjustment it will automatically start to rise. The only time you adjust the pH in a hydroponics formula is a couple of days later as the plant has consumed all the calcium from this mix, the pH will then start to rise. Then you maintain it. You will use pH down. The average range for hydroponics is about 5.5 to 6. So that's up to the user if you want to go from there. Um, that's pretty much all we have to consider. Again, when you're doing it in soil, any drained away system, you add the plant amp after you pH. If it's in hydro, put it all together, start feeding like normal, and keep an eye on that pH. Uh, tips for adjustment. You never want to use a concentrated pH down adjustment liquid. Uh, ideally, you would dilute that. If you see your pH down in the reservoir, you will see a cloud of lockup. Ideally, you would dilute it. Or you, if you have very consistent water without seasonal fluctuations, you can learn how much pH adjustment down it needs before adding your fertilizer and do it that way. Uh, that's totally up to you. pH before you add your fertilizer or after, it's up to you. Just do it safely and try to dilute before you add 
concentrated down to your to your mix. But keep in mind there are seasonal shifts, especially if you're in well water, uh, your pH can vary. So we recommend you check your pH every time you mix, every time you uh, check every day, you should be checking your pH for ideal growth. Now the final thing is foliar application. We have plant amp available as a biochelate calcium. It can be sprayed on your plants. Now we've basically taken the whole pH consideration out of the uh, equation. You don't have to worry about pH when you're uh, foliar applying to leaves. The plants absorb that calcium automatically. So when you're foliar spraying, you can use our plant amp as well as our mag amp, our mag sulfate, and our Uncle John's blend all in one spray bottle. You don't need to pH it. So you can spray all through veg, transition, and into the beginning of flower. At that point, you definitely want to use your plant amp calcium in the reservoir. Um, that's pretty much all that I have. Again, if you guys have any questions, never hesitate to call us here at the factory. Contact us through our Facebook account, our Instagram account, we're at Cutting Edge Solutions, uh, and our website, CuttingEdgeSolutions.com. You can call us. Again, I'm Mark. I'm the rep here in California, and uh, our goal is always to inform you as we all succeed together. The California is uh, a formula that has been proven to be consistent and clean and guaranteeing your success in the future. Thank you.